Hoboken, in the state of New Jersey, suffered a terrible railway incident on the 29th of September in 2016, when a train overran the buffers during the morning rush hour. The train, which was an electric multiple unit, coming from Spring Valley, New York, caused the death of one person with a further 114 injured. There is doubt surrounding the cause of the accident, which is still under investigation by the NTSB, the National Transportation Safety Board. Back in June 2016, the New Jersey Transit Authority was already subject to a probe by the Federal Railroad Administration due to a marked increase in safety violations. On the 29th of September, at 7.23am, the train, numbered 1641, left Spring Valley on the Pascack Valley Line for Hoboken. Arriving some 80 minutes later, the train failed to stop before the end of the line, breaking through the buffers and ending up coming to rest at the wall immediately before the waiting area. According to eyewitness reports, the train did not slow when entering the station, but burst through the buffers with no apparent application of brakes. Now, there are automated systems that can be used to apply train brakes automatically should the driver fail to do so. This particular train does not seem to have been fitted with PTC, or positive train control, although there is doubt that this would have helped in this particular instance either way. The train consisted of one locomotive and four passenger cars, with the locomotive pushing from the rear and the Comet 5 cab car 6036 in front, sustaining substantial damage on impact. The fatality caused by the accident was not, as one may think, a passenger on the train, but a lawyer who was standing on the platform. She was hit by flying debris. The majority of the other non-fatal injured people were passengers, 66 of whom were treated at the nearby Jersey City Medical Centre, with the rest treated at other nearby facilities. All injured people, bar two, were released from hospital the same day. Together with the obviously damaged buffers, concourse and train, there was also damage to the roof of both the station and the train shed, with the roof partially collapsing, and burst water pipes spewing water all over the accident scene. Upon investigation by the NTSB, it became apparent that although the driver was well and rested, the train actually accelerated as it approached the end of the platform. The black box on the train showed the speed at more than twice the limit of 10 miles per hour, with a collision speed of 21 miles an hour. It also showed that the emergency brakes had been applied immediately prior to the impact, with naturally no effect at this very late stage. Ultimately, it was concluded that the driver was suffering from sleep apnea and that this was a possible cause of the crash. The report also found that the installation of newer hydraulic bumpers with friction shoes could, and I say could, have reduced the severity of the accident, but not necessarily so. New regulations were introduced after the crash with a reduction of the speed limit to 5 miles per hour imposed in the station, and that at a minimum a second person must be present in the cab with the driver on approach. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe.